I I would advise you to move on. You're it's always listen, it's always you guys' decision ultimately. But I told him I would advise you to move on. And then he's like, well, you know, you know, okay, I you know, coach, I I, I got in this so you could guide me. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take your advice on that. But but I think the guy came back at him with something and then he showed me what he talked to you guys about. He said, this thing with the guy, and I said, Red, the numbers are the numbers. That's all I said. Hey, Red, talk to me, man. What, what, what's going on? I'm trying to get it, man. You cool. had a few things in the fire. What's going on? Talk to me about them. Yeah, so, um, you know, I got an academy last Friday, I think. Yeah, last Friday. So I've met with about five property owners and um, a couple of them just wasn't, wasn't um, informal. So I kept moving um, early in the week on um, the guy. It was a three bedroom, two bath in Tallahassee. Very nice home, um, great area. And, um, you know, he wanted 2,500 and uh, wasn't in, wasn't in, wasn't in formula and uh, but then you know I tried to negotiate with him and so he came back with um, kind of like what um, Mo was saying when the guy wanted some money up front so he was like he's gonna you know offer me a smoking deal and I was like well you know spit it to me and so he said um, if I give him three months up front and lock the price in and um and you know, I I, I, res I respectfully declined right at that moment. You know, couldn't say what I really wanted to say. So I, and so then, yesterday I met with a property owner, and she had a three bedroom, three bath, all private suites. Um, nice. She only wanted uh, fifteen fifty. Wow. Brand, I mean, like brand new renovate. I mean, nobody's lived in it since they did the, the renovation on it. So, I mean, you can still smell the new when you walk in. You know. He said everything looked good, so she's ready to move forward. So that's why I sent you that's a draft. When did yeah. you send that? This afternoon. And then also, um, the, like most said, the conversation went so well. Um, she told me that her her sister had a condo that she was going to try to. You see what I'm saying? You see? Listen, you, you, be, <laughs> this, you need to start making contact with her, aunt, her cousin, whoever that is. <laughs> Like yeah. now, like you yeah. need to get in the conversation now so that right. once you get this one up and running, well, well, here, Br Br Brenton, I'll do, here's the thing, and I'll, I'll let Reds keep talking, but the guy was just being greedy. Like he right. okay. um, he was still real brand new. Like his, I think this was one of the first guys that he had met, right? Mm -hmm. And right. as he met the guy, like he wasn't, like Reds was kind of enamored by, now hold on, I'm glad you said this. Now I'm gonna talk to some of you out there that's been coming at me about how beautiful I want this place to look. But yet, I can't find nothing out there. You know, you laughing, you laughing, you know who you are, right? And 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 you can't find anything out there in the price range because everything else don't look like the way you want it to look. Now, here it is. Reg, I'm sure now th this place is it in a decent neighborhood. Oh yeah, it is. It's eight minutes from FSU. Decent neighborhood, eight minutes from SSU, FSU. Is it? Is everything brand new? Um, she just recently, like they finished up maybe two weeks ago, renovating. So it's new okay, cabinet. So they renovated. Yeah. All right, so they yeah. renovated, but but the condo itself was built in 2003. Right, so it's not a brand new place, right? And even if it hadn't been renovated, it probably would have still been good enough if it was still decent. Oh, yeah. If he would have, like this first guy was, you know, his place was brand new and, and, and Reds wasn't really sure about the formula. Reds kind of got enamored by how pretty it was. He walked in, everything still smelled like brand new. Like he was enamored by that. And I was like, oh, okay, show me the numbers. And the numbers were like, eh, way out here. I said, Reg, would advise you to move on. You're, it's always, listen, it's always you guys' decision, ultimate. But I told him I would advise you to move on. And then he's like, well, you know, you know, okay, I, you know, coach, I, I, I got in this so you could guide me. I'm gonna take your, I'm gonna take your advice on that. But, 
But I think the guy came back at him with something, and then he showed me what he talked to you guys about. He said, this thing with the guy, and I said, Reg, the numbers are the numbers. That's all I said. And, and now look, like literally within 48 hours, he's got this one, $36,000 later in his pocket, right? That's what it will be. And not only that, but once he does sign this lease, now there's a, a very high chance that he'll get the other one from this lady's sister or aunt, whoever she is. That's gonna be probably generating even more than this one. So again, he, he just got finished talking to us about when he gets those three and now he's at 106,000. What that's gonna do for him. How pretty he's looking for these places to be. I mean, they're gonna be okay. The places are gonna be fine. They're gonna be nice. They're gonna be okay. But they don't, he didn't say, oh, Jim, I wanted to be in this this neighborhood or that neighborhood. No, it, the formula drives what we do because you guys are here for financial independence and freedom. They will be pretty. Some of them will be very pretty, but we don't look for them like that. Right? Most people, if you're in decent neighborhoods, they're not going to be showing you some ragtag, you know, right. places with holes in the walls and, you know, and bugs crawling around. We're not doing that type of stuff. Right. Right, these are places that, you know, they're they're looking to put their best foot forward because they want to get them rented. The place Michelle has a beautiful place. Place Reg has nice place. But they were not focused on area, how pretty it has to be. They were focused on the numbers. The numbers, the formula. If you do that, you're gonna be fine. You said to me, Well, I don't wanna have a place where I would if I wouldn't even want to live there. It doesn't mean they're bad places. My standard for where I'm gonna move my family and live for the next 10 years is different. You take me back 10 years ago, 20 years ago, maybe I would live there. I was at a different place. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. And the people that are coming, here's the, oh, and this is something I want to point out from last week too. You got to also understand, it's not like, you know, as I'm talking about this, don't get the misimpression that I'm telling you to put people in places that are just bad when they come in the town. That is not what we're doing. But you got to also understand that when people come, you you do have some control of what that place on the inside is going to look like. You got some control, right? So what they're looking for when they come is they're looking for a place safe, that's clean, that smells good, that's affordable, that like that's what they're looking for. Like they're here on business doing different things. They're not there to hang out. They're not walking around the neighborhoods and because they're not there to do the things that we do when we live in those communities. And if you get that in your head, you're gonna be fine. Your experience with Airbnb is different than what we do. I know you may have had some success, but it's still different. So you, you're gonna, if you're gonna use the formula, if you want it to work, so that's it, that's it. So again, Reg, great job, man. Give me your commitment that you're gonna follow my simple steps. If you do that, we're gonna be okay. And you said, Jim, I'm good. Thank you, appreciate it. Hey guys, it's Jim. I hope you're enjoying the series of videos that I'm putting out of my new student hosts. There's a couple that I put out before this, a couple that I'm putting out after as well. It's all real informative stuff to help you um, in your journey with Airbnb passive income. And if you do enjoy it, I'd ask you to do a couple things. One, to, if, you're, if, we're on air, if you're watching this on YouTube, like and share the video um, and subscribe to the channel. And if you're not on YouTube, go ahead over to the channel and um, subscribe, like and share the video if you wanna be updated on, on all the new uh, videos that are gonna be coming up as well as getting the the uh, the other ones that will also help you along along your uh, your journey of Airbnb uh, creating Airbnb passive income to, to be able to support the vision that God's given you for your life and um, and then also I don't know if you know but we also have I also have a semi private group um, where you know we're in there and we share a lot of things um, in the group uh, you're able to to, to kind of see more of what this what my students are doing. And, um, and also what some of the other folks that are doing that are just trying to get started and, and, and you know, and, and getting some help um, without actually being a part of the uh, my academy. And so you can actually go over to that group. It's my Facebook group and you'll find the uh, the link uh, to that group in, in the description below. And so, and if you're already in it, great. You're already in the group, you know what we're doing and glad to have you. Now, the last thing is this. If you're already in the group or if you're not in the group and um, you're not a student, 
you know, and you like the information that uh, the free information that I'm sharing and you you feel like maybe this would be a great fit for you as far as being able to, you know, do Airbnb passive income without owning property, then schedule a a one on one with me. I'd love to meet with you. As you know, I love helping people start and grow their five thousand to fifteen thousand dollar a month Airbnb passive income business without banks, without experience and without owning property. And so, yeah, schedule schedule an opportunity. I'd love to. As I said, I'd love to meet with you one on one, and you know, we can see if it's a good fit. I can, um, you know, give you some more information, some background about the academy and how everything works. And if it is a great fit and I'm able to give you an invitation because my academy is invitation only, but if I'm able to give you an invitation, then I'll give you an invitation, get you enrolled and get you started today. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching and I look forward to meeting with you and working with you in the very near future. God bless you.